Welcome back to Dotson's Adventures. Today, Honest Abe's getting ready to cut some cherry trees down. Mm, that's too realistic and might actually hurt somebody. Let's, uh, let's put that on the back. Oh yeah, yeah, chainsaw. It's too real and too heavy for me to be carrying all day. So today's adventure is gonna be chainsaws. We're gonna take some ordinary stuff and make a bunch of top chainsaws for you. To use, display, whatever. Chainsaw, we're gonna chainsaw you. That's my boy Jesse. Okay, here are what we're working with this evening. We're working with uh, some jugs and a hot knife. Some thin sheets of EVA foam. Some uh, Kong tack cement. I'm gonna use a brush to brush that on. Some zip ties. Like I said, we're using laundry jugs. We got a few different styles. We've got a uh, even a uh, home defense bug kill. I don't know what this was. I dug it out of the trash. I thought it looked cool. I think it would make a good chainsaw. So once again, we've got some jugs, some EVA foam, some contact cement, some uh, zip ties, and... Some paint sticks. That's our, our tools. Uh, we may need a, a drill too. Yeah, we will need a drill. Cordless drill. So uh, we're going to take those uh, item and turn it into some chainsaws. This is just a maybe an accent piece that we use on the side of our, our chainsaws. So the uh, only thing that we really paid for was uh, EVA foam and the contact cement, the zip ties. We picked up the, the sticks from Home Depot and the uh, rest of it are empty. We used for other purpose, had our family collect them. All right, thanks. So we picked out our, our first jug that we're gonna use and we're gonna run this paint stirrer to the handle there. We're going to stick it through. So this part of it will be our, our chainsaw blade. So now we've, we've decided the length of our chainsaw will be that long. So we're going to need just a little more additional piece for our uh, blade, because we don't want that flopping. But while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and cut a hole in our jug using our hot knife that we've been heating up. Not sure our hot knife quite uh, at its optimal cutting temperature yet. It's not cutting like butter yet. I 
you can take this piece right there and draw a little circle around it, not a little circle, a little outline of it and cut it open. I'm just eyeballing it up so it'll fit through. Not quite big enough yet. Just need to cut a little bit more off. Now that fits straight in there. And what we're going to do. Is run it right back to the back side of that jug. Welcome back. What we did off camera was drill some hose for our zip ties to go through. We also removed this piece from the laundry jug so this would slide all the way out the end. You don't have to use zip ties, you don't even have to use a drill. You can just tape this piece together if you want it to because it's not going to be seen. Also, you could just zip tie it together if you didn't want to use tape. All I'm doing is trying to make the uh, stick just a little bit longer to cover my blade. And the reason my blade is that long is because that was the size of the sheet of EVO film I had. Didn't measure anything out, it's just the size I had. I'm going to put a second zip tie on it because it was flexing a little bit. I don't think it's going to matter that much. But I'd rather have it a little more sturdy than it was. Now I'm putting that piece back in there and that's kind of going to hold it in place. And right there is my chainsaw. Okay, now for my blade. Once again, it's just the thin EVA craft foam. And I'm going to take a round object and I'm going to put it diagonally in the corner. And I'm going to take a marker and trace around it. And I'm going to go to the opposite end diagonally and do the same.
Don't know if you can see very well. But see, I drawed it, made the little circle half moons. And then I'm gonna come back with uh, the paint stirrer and I'm gonna draw a straight line from circle to circle. One end of the chainsaw will be kept round and the other end will be just the diagonal cut. I'm using the, uh, the circle on both ends to kind of line up my yardstick so that way I don't actually have to measure. I just line the uh, two circles up. See the lines? And I've got two sheets here. I actually got three sheets. And I got two sheets, and I'm gonna just layer them. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors. I'm gonna just cut down. Then I cut the the half moon out, the half semicircle. Lining my edges back up. And there's my blade. For my chainsaw, my chain part of it, I'm going to use these diagonal triangles that I have left over and all I'm going to do is once again just eyeball it up just eyeball it up so that's, that's probably wide enough for a chain. No measurement. Draw a line. This time I got four pieces. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to just cut right down that line. And that's going to be my chain right there. Don't look like much of a chain right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in right here, and make little triangles. Now you, you can do more of a rounded chainsaw effect, little half moons, but for my purpose, all I need is the, the, the jagged tips. Because mine are just going to be props that I hang out. Black on black don't look, look too well, good, good in the camera. But you can see. And now I'm going to come back with my scissors and I'm going to cut those out. Might only do two this time. Keep it from getting all wonky on me.
like I said, you can put more detail in it. And in fact, uh, Alan Hops did a little more detailed version of the, the chain. So if you want more detail, you can watch his video to get more detail in your chain. This works fine for me. Because like I said, it's just going to be a hanging prop. I'm going to do the other ones. And like I said, all I'm doing is eyeballing it up and drawing it out. Making little triangles. And then a straight line, a little triangle, straight line. Put a few more teeth in this one. Just watched the video on Adam Savage talking about uh, scissors. And the number one thing he said dull scissors more than anything is paper. He has a pair. He has house pa uh, scissors that cut paper. And he has shop scissors that cut other stuff. Fabric, he said, is the easiest thing to cut. EVA butt foam is basically fabric. So, what I've been doing is when my house scissors go bad, I've been bringing them out to my shop. He's the opposite. He has very brand new scissors for working outside. And then when they get dull, he puts a little sharp to them, a little edge to them, and takes them into the house. Uses them for stuff. Right there is my blades. So once again, all right, if you're going to work with EVA foam, I highly recommend getting some con contact cement. Uh, and if you haven't used contact cement before, you kind of take and glue everything up. You spread it on your your materials. You put it on both sides of your materials. Like I'm putting it up right now on the blade, the bar part of the chainsaw. But you also want to put it on the chain part of your chainsaw and then you want to give it a little time to breathe start drying a little bit it'll get tacky and once it gets tacky then you'll apply it on your piece We'll go ahead and do both sides. I'm also going to do the uh, stir stick. We'll go ahead and put a coating on it.
it's usually has a pretty good bond works out really well uh, it doesn't like these foam paint brushes it eats them up pretty quickly but I get them because they're cheap and I just throw them away Starting to dry a little bit. I'm going to put a second coat of this on. Probably should be wearing gloves, but I'm not. You had a hair dryer or a heat gun you could speed the little drying process up a little bit more and uh speed the process up so uh what i'm going to do is turn you off all right this one we didn't take it back to the hoe and kind of put it down towards the bottom but not near the hoe to run it all the way through so the blade's going to have that flex what we're going to do to try to eliminate so that so much is we're going to drill a hoe right there and then another one in the jug and run a zip tie through to kind of give it stability. Now we're doing with the zip ties, making it a kind of a C or horseshoe. So after we stick it through that hole, it'll come right back out the other side. And there it did, like threading a needle. And then we lost it. We had it through and then we pulled it over to show you guys it was there. Probably to, to never do it again. Just kidding. We've we've done this a couple times with zip ties. What you didn't see was me get impatient and turn the camera off and then start over again on it. But I got it 
the zip tie through. And now, through the hole. And it's still got a little wiggle. We could probably we'll probably put another one at the top. Well we can just live with that. I think we're gonna just live with that. If you have too much wiggle, like I said, you could always run it. Run it all the way through the back side of it. Once you run it through the back side of it, then you put a zip tie there, and that would keep it from flexing. And if you need the blade to be longer, you just take an, uh, an additional, an additional uh, stir stick and drill a hole, and then put you some more zip ties in there to make the blade longer if you want it to. And here is four of our chainsaw prop. No. And here is four of our chainsaws. Next step will be painting them. That's why we got them laid right here for now. But, yep. So you've you've let it you've let it dry a little bit, and then you come back and you put your pieces together So we went with an extra long blade on this one. extra long extra long saw on this one
kind of pushing it all together. I'm trying to make an extra long saw blade, so we don't know how well this is going to work. Probably could have got longer EVA foam and made it work better. I just put that on wet. It won't dry until it's tacky. There it is. 